Well, hello. My name is Travis Peter, and I just wanted to let you know that the video you're about to see was filmed live at twitch.tv slash Travis Peter Games. So if you want to hang out with me live there, you can go to that go to that website. I'm sure you're very smart. You'll figure it out. But I also wanted to state that the reason we don't talk about Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village in this video is because I filmed it before that game came out. To give it a ranking, I would put it at S tier. I absolutely love that game. I had so much fun playing it. I loved every single second of it. I thought the gameplay was fun. Um, the new monsters and creatures and everything were a lot of fun to fight. It was fun seeing Chris Redfield again, especially considering he looked like this. <laughs> I mean, he's not sure. This is a mod. This is a mod. But, you know, he's I, this is how I, also how I imagined him when I saw him. And mostly I loved it because of the characters. I loved all of Mother Miranda and her motley crew. Of course, Lady Domitresque, her daughters. I really loved, you know, even Moreau and... Heisenberg. I, just, I, I thought it was really great. I really enjoyed it. So enjoy the ranking of the rest of the games. Okay, there's a lot on here I haven't played, but I have played a lot of them. <laughs> I've played most of them, but this is like, I think every single Resident Evil game. So here we go. First of all, I have not played the original Resident Evil 2. Okay, Resident Evil Resistance. I played this for a little bit, F. This is going to be this is my least favorite Resident Evil game I've ever played. I fucking hated it. I absolutely hated that game. I was kind of interested in it when it came out, you know, when it came out with three. And I played like the tutorial rounds and all the practice rounds and everything. And then I went to stream it and play an actual game. It took me so long to get into a match. The entire party died in under a minute. And I deleted the game after that. So fuck that game. I, are people still... I've not seen anyone play this game. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. So Code Veronica. Code Veronica is one of my favorite. Granted, that's the original Code Veronica, and we technically played Code Veronica X here on the stream. But that is one of my favorite video games of all time. I absolutely love that game. The characters are so great. I really love Steve Burnside. I know that's a hot take. And the the villains were so over the top. And so like Alf, Alfred, was that his name? And his sister. And then when she was all spooky, she was like so creepy as like a boss. She's one of the cooler looking boss too. Father! <laughs> and how thick his Canadian accent was. I'm sorry, Claire. And then he would just like say something and run out of the room. <laughs> Everything about it was so good. The Dark Side Chronicles. This was the on rails shooter that contained the story of Code Veronica 2, and then that Krauser and Leon original. I think it would have been more fun to play if I had had a light gun. Using a controller sucked and it made it no fun to play. But I thought overall seeing like a remake, a visual remake of Code Veronica was a lot of fun. And the other games, as well as the storyline stuff they added with Leon and Krauser, I thought was really interesting too. I thought overall the story that it because, you know, it continued the Veronica virus. That's what they were infected with in the Leon part. I liked it, but it was just sucked to play. So I'm actually going to put it in B tier. If I was grading it solely on gameplay, I would put it in D. I, I thought it was the story itself made it worth it. Or should I put it in? I'm going to put it in C, actually. My rule in my head for these rankings is even th no matter how much I liked it, if I wouldn't play it again, it moves down a rank. And I don't think I would play that again. Although I would play it if I, I think I might try it again if I had a light gun. But I'm never going to have a PlayStation 3 light gun. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm thinking too hard about this. Um, Resident Evil Outbreak, I didn't play. Resident Evil 4. Uh, this is a difficult one. I want to say A. I would play it again. The only thing that holds me back from playing it again is it's, it, it's so long and it feels long. But I overall, I like the story as annoying as Ashley is at certain chapters of that game. I don't feel like she actually distracts overall from my feelings. I don't remember that game is like, oh, fucking Ashley. But <laughs> whereas like some other games, I'm like, you know, Silent Hill, the room. I'm like, oh, fucking what's her name? Eileen. She's the reason I would never replay that game. 
<laughs> Overall, I thought the plot was really good. The enemies were interesting. I like the the evolution to the Los Plagas virus in that one. And I'm really excited for the remake. They've done such good jobs on the remake. I'm really interested to see if we're going to get some S tier RE4. I think this is the original Resident Evil, which I haven't played. But this is the Resident Evil HD remake, which is technically what we played on the stream here. And honestly, I would put that as a rank as well. I want to play. I've thought about playing that game again just in my free time off stream. I thought it was so fun to play. And in retrospect, I don't think I appreciated how good that game looked for what it was at the time. And it was a lot to get used to. I mean, it was my first time getting used to the OG fixed camera tank controls. So I think I would enjoy it even more if I played it a second time. Now that I'm I'm a little bit more, I'm, I'm not terrible, but I'm not great. <laughs> at that play style. Okay, and then we have the Resident Evil 2 remake. And y'all know how I feel about that. That is also one of my favorite video games of all time. I purchased fan fiction written about me and Leon Kennedy from this game. I've played it twice on the stream already. Well, technically the Leon and then the Claire story. And we'll probably stream it again at some point. I absolutely love that game. I think it's so fun. There's not a single part of that game I dread playing. I love every second of it. And uh, it's nice to have a modern looking Resident Evil, but with the old style of solving the puzzle of the building, you know, trying to get the next key, the heart key, so you can get into the heart rooms and the diamond key to get in all the diamond rooms and solving the puzzles throughout the whole thing. And the game looks great. The story's great. The characters are great. Leon is hot. <laughs> and that's really, you know, Leon is hot. It's S tier. <laughs> Resident Evil 3 also goes in S tier for me. And I know that that is a hot take. Or is it a hot take? I think I'm just so quirky. I've got such different opinions than everyone. I'm not like other girls. Because <laughs> I wasn't really part of any sort of Resident Evil community when that game came out. It was still early in me playing all the Resident Evil games. And I loved it. I, I didn't, I actually liked that it was short because I thought the game had such a great forward momentum the pace of the whole thing that you just sort of started on the game and you just blasted through it till the end and i thought jill was fucking great she was such a good character she had such really great sassy lines it looked good i do understand that a lot of people felt that it was just resident evil 2 dlc because they reused a lot of the assets and even some of the environments you play in the police station again which I get, and it was a $60 game. But otherwise, I mean, I still like it. I still like it. I will play it again on stream eventually, and I'm excited to. Maybe playing it a second time would change my opinion, but Shaggy Carlos. Yes, I also prefer, people were really upset how they changed Carlos's look with like that shaggy, thick hair. I think it looks better. I've seen what Carlos looks like in the OG Resident Evil 3. I think he looks better in this game. Plus, I mean, when I played the game, there was already the shirtless mod. So we had the shirtless mod the whole time. Plus, I mean, and also going back to two, I don't know if my opinion is skewed because Leon was in a thong the whole time I played that game. Well, shirtless Tomb Raider. And then the second time I played it, he was in a thong. You know, boy's got his priorities. And then we got Resident Evil 5. Overall, I thought the story was good. The story was interesting. And I really liked... I always like Chris as a character. I really like Sheva as a character. And the side characters are really great. And then the final battle with Wesker when he's shirtless and you fight him in a volcano. And the fact that I, what I really like about that game is that Wesker was the main villain. I think Wesker is one of the most compelling villains that Resident Evil has. He's one of my favorite characters in the whole series. And so it was really fun to have a video game where he was the villain, the main villain the whole time. That being said, I didn't enjoy the gameplay as much. It felt like just playing a Call of Duty game, which I know f 4, 5, and 6 all have that more action-y gameplay. But this one, it just felt too much. I don't know. I preferred the third person action style in 6 so much more than 5. I'm gonna, I, I want to put it in B, but like I said, my rule is if I don't feel like I would ever want to play it again, it has to go down a rank. And so that does put it in C. I do think it's like C and a half. I would put it better than the Dark Side Chronicles. Six, I would put in B. Yes, I would put it in B. Because I'm trying to think, look, is it as, do I like it as much as four and the original? And I 
don't. I do like those more. I actually really, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. And I really enjoyed the characters as much as the characters really suffer. A lot of the characters really suffer from character growth and character development. And the plot is a little nonsensy at times. The only, my only issue with it is there are so many chapters. There's four full campaigns, five full chapters. Some of those chapters are way too long. Some of them suck. Like that underground catacomb chapter with Leon. I fucking hated that one. Some of that helicopter stuff with Ada was so boring. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the gameplay of Chris and Piers was a lot of the same stuff over and over again. If they had less chapters or trimmed down on those chapters, I think it would have gotten an A rank for me. But otherwise, the action elements of it, I thought it was really fun. I thought the third person shooter stuff was really great and the overall story was really great and it looked really good and i dream about jake's blue eyes helena and deborah dear tier d yes it also does contain the char character helena which is maybe one of my least favorite characters in the entire resident evil series it's not even that i hate her if i hated her i would like her more <laughs> it's that i think she's so boring she's the most boring character they really did her dirty Okay, so we got Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 is an A tier for me. It's almost, I, I mean, the only reason it doesn't make S tier is because I love Code Veronica 2 and 3 remakes so much. And I really enjoyed 7. I thought that was a nice direction for the series to go. And the Baker family, I think, are such great villains. I mean, Marguerite Baker is one of my favorite characters in all of Resident Evil. The, he's not eating it, Jack. He's not eating it. I made that for him. Son of a bitch. Fucking love that. I fucking love that scene just for her alone. Lucas Baker was hot, too. <laughs> I was watching Super Horror Bros recap of Resident Evil 7 and I was I remember us joking about how Lucas Baker was hot while we played the game on the stream and then watching that recap again I was like oh I don't think I was kidding he was kind of good looking <laughs> he was kind of there was something about him as creepy and sleazy and crazy as that boy was I guess that's just my type lock me in your torture house daddy turn me into one of your slick slippery zombie boys <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was great. It was really great. Evelyn was a really interesting villain as well. The concept of her and everything. I don't know what this is, so I haven't played it. What does that say? Oh, Resident Evil Dead Aim. I think this is considered the worst Resident Evil thing ever made. I could be wrong. Okay, this is the original Resident Evil Revelations. I'm gonna put this in B tier. I would actually probably play it again. I really enjoyed it. That was the one with Jill and Chris, right? Wait, let me remember now. Okay, because I played both Revelations kind of in a row. Revelations was with Jill and Chris. Revelations 2. Oh yes, Revelations 2 was Last of Us. Resident Evil Last of Us. Because <laughs> it was... What's it was Barry Burton and that little girl. Um, yeah, so Revelations was with Jill and Chris on the ships and everything. I thought that was a nice change of setting. I thought the overall plot was very good. I could, from what I understand, it was originally made for DS and then it was sort of remade, given like an HD remake and brought to console and PC, which is obviously what I played. And you can sort of feel it that it was a smaller game that they turned into a bigger game. I don't know what it is. It just feel like I wanted more from it. I don't know. It's just, it's B tier. I liked it. I really liked it. But I'm not losing my shit over it. You know? Guess that's what B tier means. This is the Umbrella Chronicles, which is another on-rail shooter, but I'm not gonna play it. I was gonna play it, but I've heard it's like worse than Dark Side Chronicles. So no, thank you. I don't even know what Resident Evil Survivor is. Resident Evil Zero, I think gets C tier for me. I just don't care about the characters in that game. I really, I don't miss Rebecca Chambers or Billy, Billy? Was that his name? The crit, he had like the, he was a criminal. He had the handcuffs on him. I think it was all right to play. It was a fun game. And it, I played it right after playing the HD remake of one. Yeah, it was fine. That's a good ranking for C. It was fine, fine at best, but I don't think I would replay it. If I'm going to go black, back and replay a different, one of the old Resident Evil games, I think that would be the last one I would pick. I think the only one left on here is Revelations 2. I've got a lot of games to play, y'all. I know, listen, I'm currently streaming this, but if this is also being posted on YouTube, if you're a Resident Evil fan, 
and you're mad that I've never played the originals, I'm so sorry. I intend to play them one day. I've been playing them all over the past year. I can only play so many. You know what I'm saying? But I do intend to play them. But yeah, so the only game out of these that I've played now is Resident Evil Revelations 2. And honestly, A, that's A tier for me. That game was so good. The characters were so great. The characters were so good in that. I loved Barry. I loved his daughter, Moira. I always loved Claire. And, and then the whole Barry and that little girl, which was very... Um, Last of Us, which we joked was Resident Evil Last of Us. Mo oh, that's right. And then there was Moira's sassy, sassy comebacks at the monsters, calling someone a butt stain <laughs> and something about dildos. Right. But she was great. I'd hope we see her again. And honestly, I'd hope they'd make more Res Revelations games. I thought they were so, both of them were so good. And I think it's a really good way to continue the characters stories from the original resident evil games while still using like seven and eight and any game after that to move forward with a different style and new characters like ethan winters but yeah so that's my tier list i guess nothing deserved a d overall i mean there's a reason there's still games on the bottom that i haven't played because i have watched and read a lot about all the different games and what's recommended and what's not recommended and I know that there'd be a lot of D and F tier games out of those games at the bottom, which is why I haven't played them and probably won't. The only games I think out of the bottom that I would still play are the original one, two, and three, which I still intend to play at some point. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think of my list, but only if it's nice. Also, subscribe to my channel and like this video. And you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Travis Peter Games. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.